Hello, it's Lindsay here. I thought it might be helpful to create a video covering the basics of starting a painting. Now, I'm not a painter myself, so I won't be creating a masterpiece for you today, but hopefully I'll help those who are a bit unsure where to begin. I'm starting in my brushes folder on iCloud Drive. To create my new painting, I simply need to tap either Create Painting or the plus up here. This will bring up the Add Painting menu where I can choose my painting size using either my iPad screen size, a preset size, or enter a custom size. Making sure you pick the right size for your painting is important if you want to print it or have some other specific purpose in mind, but I'll stick with my screen size. My screen size is in landscape because I have my iPad in that orientation. If you have your iPad upright, the numbers will be for portrait. We won't worry about that too much for now, so let's get painting. In the canvas screen, you will find a menu, which will allow you to go back to the gallery, insert images, share your painting and apply settings. Up here, you have your brushes menu, where you can pick brushes, change their properties or add a new random brush. Next to that is the eraser menu. Whichever of these two is highlighted is your current tool. You can select brushes in each menu independently, but any changes to brush properties will be shared between them. Next to these two, you have the layers menu. You can lock a layer, hide it, add a new layer, or find more options by tapping this arrow. You can also slide layers to access duplicate, merge and delete actions. The active layer will be highlighted so you can see which layer you will paint onto. Down at the bottom of the screen you have a size slider. This will apply your currently selected brush. For precise brush sizing you can slide your finger up the screen, away from the slider but without lifting it then slide left to right to get greater control over the slider. The further you go, the greater the control. Give it a try, it's really handy. To the right of the size slider is the opacity slider. This works exactly like the brush size slider, except it will change the opacity of your color, making the paint applied more or less solid. On the very end, we have undo and redo buttons. Finally, in the bottom left, this little dot opens up the colour wheel. Colours can be saved to the swatches either by tapping the plus in an empty slot or dragging the colour down from the preview at the top and dropping it on any slot, whether taken or not. This little dropper will take you back to your painting and select any colour you have already used. You can also access the colour picker by holding your finger on your drawing unless you have turned this off in the settings. Well, that's pretty much it for the basics. All that's left to do is paint, explore and have fun. If you have any questions or want to say hello, you can get in contact using the menu in the gallery screen and tapping feedback.